welcome to Arya uh, for a very special edition of Kissim Talks. Arya, uh, just a fantastic performance and a terrific transformation in Sarpata. I can only ask, how did you make it happen? Uh, it seems quite remarkable. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, it was, uh, I think uh, a lot of preparation had gone into the film uh, even before we started. Uh, we had a workshop for 45 days. And, 45 days? Uh, yeah, 45 days of workshop <laughs> with each and every character, uh, you know, reading out the script, performing it, because we had to get the dialect and the body language right, right. Uh, the boxing part right, so it was a training for that. Where so, was the workshop, Arya? Which one? Where was the workshop? Where was it conducted? It was, it was in Chennai. Okay. We, had, we, had, we had picked up a big, huge hall. And everybody were like part of it. Wow. So, so uh, we had to uh, attend the workshop and we had different trainers for different parts of uh, the training, like the, for the dialect, for the boxing, for the body language, uh, for the, for, uh, for acting, for everything we had. Right. What was particular about the dialect? Is it different from the normal Tamil that is spoken? Yeah, yeah, it, it's got a slang to it, and the way uh, certain words words that you use are uh, slightly different from the regular Tamil. Why is that? Is it particular to the? It's because it's uh, North Madras, uh, oh. North Madras place where uh, near the harbor there were people from Andhra, people from Karnataka, people okay. from. Uh, uh, Kerala, uh, from the north, from anywhere from the north, and Anglo Indians. Everybody stayed together in, together in that area. So okay. the kind of words they used, the kind of language they used, were like mixed of so many languages and so many small words in the in their uh, in their vocabulary. Right. So it was quite unique and uh, quite uh, uh, quite stylish the way. And each people, each person, or the, each family spoke a different slang or a different way they had. It's okay. an Anglo family. They had a lot of English in their uh, uh, Tamil vocabulary. So right. it's like that. So Telugu people had a lot of Telugu in their Tamil vocabulary. So it's like that. It's quite fascinating. Was this a world that you were familiar with, Aryan, or no? No, no it's a very popular uh, uh, world, which is actually not quite well shown in the films. Right. So it is a lost culture that has happened uh, in, uh, in Tamil Nadu. In, in Chennai. Right. Uh, is it still thriving or as you said, it's lost? Is it a dying culture? It, no, it's still there, but only thing it's become very modernized and uh, now, you know, uh, the whole Chennai itself is, it's, it's a part of Chennai, it's in Chennai, right? In the heart right. of the Chennai. But mm -hmm. uh, now it's become more modernized and everybody is uh, now come to the Chennai Tamil. <laughs> okay. So Chennai Tamil is very different from uh, uh, this Tamil. And I also know that there's a Sri Lankan Tamil, for instance. I discovered yeah, yeah. while watching Family Man, the things you learn yeah. while watching streaming shows. I didn't know that yeah. there's a particular different intonation to that. Yeah, yeah, they have different intonation. And we have different slang in Madurai. We have uh, Tirnal Valley slang. So it's quite, uh, quite similar, but they have different inton intonation, like right. you said. But the but the uh, amazing thing is, of course, the physical transformation, Arya. I mean, talk about the regimen and the endurance and the the amazing kind of work it must have taken. Yeah, uh, uh, the physical transformation is quite hard because the director wanted three different looks in the film, where he is an underdog and you know he's like he's like he works in the harbor so he wanted a different body then then he once he starts fighting he wanted a different body right. then when he control goes to jail and comes back and now he wanted a different body right so then finally he wanted totally ripped in the finale the climax match hmm. so the transformation had to go through a lot of uh, uh, phase <laughs> so yeah. i had to change diet and uh, work out accordingly and every day I had to do boxing training so that uh, you know uh, I'm very well. Uh, I'm very well with the boxing. Doesn't look like a movie fight. Doesn't right. look like a cinematic fight. You wanted real boxers on stage, like as if, as if two boxers are fighting out on the stage. mind and 
body area because the kind of work that you put into your body you know uh, also constantly shifting uh, your body's sort of uh, paradigm does it take a lot out of you yeah yeah we, we you could become very irritable you yeah. know, become very angry and especially we shot half of the film before the first lockdown then the covid happened right. so i had in that physic for 8 9 months without the gym there's no gym uh, all the gyms were closed and i had to work out on top on my terrace whatever i could how did so you manage made, that arya yeah uh, i had no choice i had to manage i kept running do a lot of cardio and things like that so uh, but i had to be on a very strict diet for the, those time months uh, which was like no carbs and you know no sugar and things like that so it was giving it was like going out of my control i was losing to my patience and you know it becomes very irritable you lose your sleep right you know uh, i had, i didn't know whether to keep it or you know continue with them continue with my diet or wait for the film to resume or whether, you know they kept saying every 3 weeks it will be the mall day exactly so just to unlock so it was quite a mind frustrating experience actually body as well because your body yeah. goes through so many different kinds of diets i mean how much can you experiment uh, after all yeah, yeah. after all it's a physical thing no i mean yeah, yeah. it did take a toll and uh, but uh, i had to do it because i had no choice <laughs> <laughs> and parent uh, he is a very uh, um, he he's very clear in what he wants right he, he gives very yeah. clear instructions yeah he so wants no, uh, yeah i what i really like about him is the 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 character arc for each character is so specific and so well written that uh, when you perform you feel that you have become a better actor a better performer and uh, and the way the other characters in, uh, you know uh, indulge in each and every scene and it comes so naturally and the way he stages the scene everything was quite unique and quite interesting so has boxing now become a part of your life are you or you've just given up now you <laughs> you've said no, no, you've no, had enough it was a part of my life even before i started doing this film uh oh, really? I for to just for my fitness and things like that for five to two three okay. years and uh, uh, now after now it's still continuing because i love uh, boxing Okay what is it that you like about boxing it is so physically demanding and so violent as well yeah, it's a very explosive sport and uh, what i love about boxing is you can be under any stress or frustration you might be angry with anybody or something you just go here uh, hit the punching bag for a minute you, all the frustration will come out <laughs> <laughs> like you have a problem you are like punching the problem <laughs> right and it's interesting to see uh, um arya that we have a lot of women boxers now as well i think partly because of mary com success i have I have uh, you heard about them have some of them come to you talk to you about it yeah a lot of people because in my place where i go for my training my academy okay. there a lot of women boxers who are training uh, like you said it's a uh, effect of uh, mary com right. uh, the move as well as, uh, as a person uh, now uh, she she's like represented india like numerous times and she's right. been most boxer right. so i think those kind of uh, thing really helps and motivates a lot of women and younger girls to take up the sport or at least for their uh, self defense they do it or they are for as a sport they do it right so it's quite uh, uh, quite uh, uh, nice that this kind of films really encourage people to be fit and be uh, have the self defense in their place it's very interesting when you said that both the movie and the person because sometimes it's so difficult to know how much of it is because of mary herself and her terrific yeah, yeah. and how much of it is because um, the film became part of popular culture as well right sometimes it's tough to tell yeah because see what happens is uh, uh, boxing is not a popular sport like cricket so anything yeah. other than cricket is very uh, it's not recognized or it's not given that importance or people don't uh, really get to see it uh, 
so uh, definitely a movie helps or you know identify that kind of a sport and uh, really uh, in a reach a very international stage like now uh, we have to some extent we have badminton yeah. uh, being popular in india so those uh, so each sport has to get its recogni- uh, due recognition in due course because there are a lot of any sport any hero any any uh, any any uh, sportsman in india uh they work really hard it's not easy to reach the uh, international stage mm-hmm. unless you are you know, the kind of training the kind of sacrifices they have done uh it, it's inexplainable so right. you have to have that kind of de- dedication to reach that uh, reach that stage and when you don't get that due recognition for that you feel bad uh, especially uh, i'm sure uh, maricom is very, uh, is uh, very famous but only after the movie came i am sure that a lot of more people came to know about her than exactly. before yeah which so, is sad. Uh, yeah which is a sad part so i i wish the, you know every sport is recognized and every sport person is given their due recognition uh, recognition for what they have done after my after meera bhai yeah, yeah. so yeah oh, like they said they should make films on weight because weightlifters have always been in top form or uh, they have been winning medals in the international stage for a very long time exactly. but um, it's not some uh, sport that you know uh, that people want to take up or they don't know the real importance or hard work in it like how uh, uh, wrestling became quite famous after dangal so right. uh, so you know it needs a film or it needs a small uplifting stuff either by the sports authorities or from the film that make they make out of the real life uh, celebrities in sports and it's interesting that all of these are women arya yeah <laughs> yeah it, it is it is very true They're very happy i mean uh, you know to, for women to succeed and kind of infrastructure that we have and kind of uh, uh you know uh, exposure that we have in this kind of field is quite minimal compared to other countries right so but still they are uh, coming up and you know even vemadas for the 400 meters so it's 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 nice that women are like like challenging men so yeah. i quite like the part <laughs> Uh, sorry let's go back to sarpataria uh, what what was the politics of it that was also very important because it's not just about uh, uh, the transformation of a person it's also the trans- it's the uh, transformation of uh, a community and you're representing that how important was the politics of it so i what i really like about sarpataria is just not about boxing we right. try to talk about a life that happened in 1975 Right. in was a part of chennai what is chennai not madras uh, during the emergency period right uh, the 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 political angle to it the society the underprivileged society uh, angle to it everything is very smoothly underlined in the film right. exactly uh, it's not very forced or it's not very on your face hmm. so it is nicely uh, uh, gelled with the film i would say right. so that was quite important. and he wanted to establish a life that happened in 1975 rather than just boxing he yeah. he, he uh, uh, nicely uh, combined everything together into a life rather than into a uh, sport he just um, told us about a life the community the culture the the, the kind of uh, how important boxing is like a religion to their uh, culture so those kind of things that he tried to talk in the film was outstanding uh, uh, rather and, than just about boxing and the heroes people like ambedkar operia those were yeah. also very important yeah. very 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 important it's all very underlined and very nicely said in the film non 
smile. Yeah. So <laughs> he's <laughs> like coming. Yeah, he got so many subtext to the whole film actually. Right. Is this now going to be part of a series, Arya, or is it a, a one-off? Uh, we we actually had a, a, a thought of making part two immediately, but. we thought okay uh, we don't know what scale it's going to be how the people are going to like it we had no uh, idea so we th- we decided okay let's make the p- first part and we have a huge story to tell so we'll we'll take it forward in the same right so as an actor uh, what how has this movie transformed you uh, are you not just uh, the physicality of it or the boxing or you know just being part of something so magical what has it how has it transformed you personally i think it's transformed me beautifully because like i said the character arc was written so well that uh, i just felt like that i was living the moment as kabilan yeah. and uh, the fact that we shot in uh, the 1975 period yeah. we had actually put up a set in which which was which looked like 1975 because we have no area in dry chennai right now which look like 1975 so we had put up the whole set so uh, when we go on the set we felt like as if we like uh, when on when on a time machine time travel and you know we reach 90 because of the costume the look the atmosphere the backdrop the uh, the language what we are saying we really felt like that we were living in 1975 so that really gave us the positive energy the look and feel of it really uh, was a big bonus in our uh, performance right and um going forward how what part of arya's magic would you like to retain in your other performances so i think uh, the way i understood the character and the way i performed in this film uh, really made me a better actor yeah. uh, because of range also so i definitely i want to take a lot of things from this movie and uh, you know carry it forward to my other movies and other performances Uh, uh which i feel uh, uh, is possible only when you have a good director yeah. and good inputs to be given to that character you can't just because if you ask me to perform i would probably do in the same way in each and every character unless there is a lot of input from the director yeah. the understanding of the character everything has is so important uh, for you to b- 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 perform better last question um you know uh, we've heard so much about pan indian uh, heroes now you know there's no longer that boundary that this is a hindi film hero or a tamil film hero have you got that kind of response given the platform yeah uh, yeah for time now because the last two films of mine have been on uh, ott yeah. so this especially this film on amazon is reached everywhere right. i would say so me as an uh, actor as a person i whenever i go on uh, amazon i look for international films we see a lot of film shows on uh, you know uh, spanish language or you know chinese or korean films or things like that so it's like uh, it's like you are looking for a good content yeah. it's uh, language is not a barrier anymore or uh, so you want to see a good content good love, good story that somebody is trying to tell you want to see a good story good film so you for language is no more a barrier i would say so in that way uh, the sarpata has reached people in a way that you know they want to see a good film good story good uh, good sports film a motivating film in so many aspects so i feel uh, i'm really blessed that you know uh, sarpata has come on amazon and um, uh, have you got lots of young people coming to you for tips on how to build your body and how to be a better boxer Uh, i know i think after this film a lot of people have uh, taken boxing as a sport and they want to uh, they have taken it as a, like a huge part of their exercise regime so I'm very happy i'm able to inspire uh, everybody in, in this format at least so i'm looking forward to more reactions i hope your diet is better now and you're no longer hungry yeah. angry oh, now <laughs> see me happy <laughs> like the <laughs> nice <laughs> you're eating all your carbs and and things like that no 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 restriction 
I think it's important to keep your body healthy as well. No? Yeah, yeah. There are certain yeah. things that you, you, you have you to eat do. healthy. Yeah, you can eat. You should eat healthy. You should eat well. Uh, you can do things like this for a specific perfect, uh, per, uh, specific purpose for a short time. Right. You cannot uh, keep it for a long time and uh, uh, expect you to be healthy and uh, you know have a nice face. It's difficult. You can right. do it for a specific reason for a, for a specific time. That's very important advice to young people, isn't it? Because a lot of young men are also you know, have this notion that there has to be a rib physique and, you know, they have to not eat the certain things. But you that, have to have a balanced uh, approach, right? Uh, being fit and being ribbed is two different things. Being fit, I don't think you can be ribbed by being fit. Right. Because being uh, ribbed or having this kind of muscles is, you're just avoiding yourself having carbohydrate, uh, carbs, having, uh, avoid having sweets, it's a very strict regime and strict, uh, very strict diet. So I don't think that's advisable for a longer time. But being fit is something that you have to be fit always. See, I'm, I'm fit, but the, I don't have the kind of body that I have it in the film. Right. But I know I get back to that uh, anytime when I want it. For that, you have to be physically fit and you have to have a good diet, healthy diet. Mm -hmm. So I try to keep that. How long was the period of the film? The film was short, what, over 18 months? Yeah, 18 months, one and a half years, yeah. yeah. Because of the pandemic. And... Because of the pandemic. Uh, right? the, yeah, because of the pandemic, because of the pandemic. So your torture lasted longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to, I had, it. I had no choice. What next for you, Arya? What? What, you do, what are you doing next? Next is a movie called Enemy uh, that's going to release uh, and Aran Mane 3. So these two films, I finished shooting for these two films. Okay. So I'm waiting for the release. Right. Thank you so much for talking to us and all the very best. Uh, nice talking to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.